Okay, now we're going to be looking at comparing fractions. Two fractions can be compared to see which is greater. Remember, our symbol means less than, greater than. Okay, when the, when the denominators, which are the bottom numbers of the fraction, are the same, then you compare the top numbers, the numerators. If the numerators are the same, then you compare the bottom numbers, which is denominators. Okay, use models to compare one-fourth and three-fourth. Now, look at my circle here. Okay, now, three-fourths, each circle is in, is in equal parts. We got three shaded and one shaded. We know my bottom number is the same. Okay, so we look at the top number. Easiest way is three greater than one. Yes, so three-fourths is greater than one-fourth. Now, Let's look at the bottom number, shall we? We're going to compare the model 2 fourth to 2 thirds. Now, if you see here, both of my top numbers are the same, so we need to look at the bottom numbers. Now, remember, 3 is larger than 4. Okay? I know it's kind of confusing, but just remember, just remember the top number, the larger the number, the greater it is. The bottom number, the smaller the number, the greater it is. And the same rule, to these rules, the holes must be the same size. Have to be the same size. So, which pizza is greater? Still, when the, hole, when the holes are the same size, one-fourth is not greater than three-fourths. Now, let's compare 3 eighths and 3 six. okay? Now, the number, the number, the top numbers are the same, but the bottom numbers are different. Remember, the bottom numbers, when comparing fractions, the smaller the number, the larger the fraction is. So, 6 is smaller than 8, so 3 eighths is less than 3 six. Okay, now we look at example two. My denominator, my denominator, my bottom number is the same. So we look at the top numbers. Is five greater than three? Yes, so it will be five eight is greater than three eighths. Huh, look at that. Amazing, isn't it? It's, it's a super amazing how just certain ways of thinking can give you an answer. Now, let's look at some gathered practice, shall we? Okay, now, which statement shows 2, 6 and 2, 8 compare? Now, my top numbers are the same. Now, I need to compare my bottom numbers, okay? Now, remember now, in the bottom numbers, when comparing fractions, the smaller, the lower the number, the greater the fraction is. So, let's look at A. Is 2 8 greater than 2 6? Nope. Is 2 6 greater than 2 8? Yes. You know it can't be C, because remember, when you have an equal sign, what must, have hap what must occur? Both sides have to be the same. 2 eighths equals 2 eight, or 2 six equals 2 six. They got to be the same fraction. If not, then you will have an equal sign with a line through it. That means not equal to. And of course, 2 six is not less than 2 eighths. Because if 2 eighths is greater than 2 six, then we know that 2 six is not less than. They reverse each other. Okay? Now, compare 1 half and 1 six, shall we? Route the comparison. When we know my top number is the same. Now remember, the bottom number, the smaller the number, the greater it is. So it would be one half is greater than one eighth. Okay? Now let's come let's do number three. Two six. 
four six. Now, my bottom number is the same, so I need to compare the top number. Is four greater than two? Yes. So, if you write just like this, it'd be said two six is less than four six. Or you can do it this way: four six is greater than two six. As long, doesn't matter how you write it, as long as the mouth goes towards the largest fraction, towards the most food, so to speak. Okay, now let's look at number four. Kumar and Eric each ordered a small pizza at a restaurant. Kumar ate three eighths. Eric ate five eighths. If the pizzas are the same size, who ate the most pizza? Well, we know my bottom number is the same. Now we look at the top number. Which is greater, 3 or 5? Five? 5. So that means 5 ate, so Eric ate the most. That means he ate 5 slices, while Kumar ate only 2 slices. Now let's look at the tape prices down here. Now, number five, it says right here, which comparison is true? Okay, let's look at each one. Is three eighths greater than four eighths? Eight eight, they're the same number, so we look at the top number, right? So is three greater than four? Nope. What about this here? Four eighths is less than three eighths. Well, we know that 4 eighths and 3 eighths is just a mirror image of this, so we know B can't be it. What about C? 4 eighths equals 3 eighths. Nope. Because in, in order for both sides to be equal, both sides have to be the same, have to be identical. And the only answer has to be what? Is D. All right, now let's get number six here. Carl, Carol... Alma, which I've known for a long time ago. No, I'm just kidding. Kenji and Ben hiked on the same trail to a cave. At noon, Carl hiked two-fourths of the way. Alma hiked two-thirds of the way. Kanji hiked two-sixths of the way. And Ben hiked two-eighths of the way. Who was closest to the cave? Remember, all my top numbers are the same, so let's come here. So we got two fourths, two thirds, two sixths, and then two eighths. Now, who, ha who was the closest to the cave at noon? Well, my top numbers are the same, so look at the bottom numbers. Remember, the lower the bottom number, the greater it is. So, the answer is two-thirds. So, you hike two-thirds. Alma. Also, another way that you can look at this is convert these into decimals. Okay? Or percent. Two-fourths is what? Fifty percent. Two-thirds is sixty-six percent. Two-sixths is 33% and the 2 eighths is 25%. Which is the greatest number? 66% or 2 thirds? You can do it that way too if you want to. Okay, now let's look at number 7. Ronnie and Ashley each ordered a pizza. Ronnie got a pizza that was, was half olives. Ashley got a pizza that was 1 eighth of olives. Which pizza had more olives? Well, let's, let's, write, let's write our fraction, shall we? One, two, one, eight. Now, we know my top number is the same, right? So, we look at my bottom number. Remember, the lower the number, the greater it is. So, both pieces, do they have the same amount of olives? Is two and eight the same number? Nope. What about Ashley's pizza? Ashley's pizza's got one eighth. Nope. What about Ronnie's pizza? 
Rounding pieces has a half olives. The answer is C. Or the easiest way is convert these into percentage. One half is 50 percent. And then one eighth is is third is twelve percent. And which is greater? Fifty. So the answer is C. Now number eight. Which comparison are true? Select all that apply. Now is two eight greater than four eight? Well, is two greater than four? Nope. What about six? One six is less than one half. Yes. Remember the bottom number is two is smaller than six, so two is greater than six. We need to look at the bottom numbers of a fraction. What about C? Does one six equal five six? Well the bottom numbers are the same, but is that a five? Nope. What about here? Four eighths is greater than four six. Remember, when the top number is the same, you compare the bottom number, and the bottom number is 6 is greater than 8 when you're looking at the bottom numbers of a fraction. So is 2 thirds greater than 1 third? Bottom numbers are the same, so is 2 greater than 1? Yes. So your answer is B and E. Okay, and that concludes fractions. So I hope y'all stay well, stay healthy, and uh, we will see, I will see you, or you will see this again. Goodbye.